Now, make some noise. Raise your hand uh, if you've ever had a wet dream. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And keep that hand raised if that wet dream, uh, you know, in, that, in the middle of that wet dream, uh, you, you queefed and woke yourself up. <laughs> That's a hard maybe. And what happened? Personal. It's personal? Well, I feel like you told half the story already, bitch. Remember when I said wet dream and queef and you're like, yep, yeah, check, check. But that's all you get. Now, where are you from, first of all? Oh, God. Um, I was born in Ohio. Yeah, queef capital of the world. Go on. <laughs> Santa Cruz. And what, what brought you to Santa Cruz? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I, I already tuned out. Let's move on. Two things to make me lose my shit on you. You call me, you call me something I don't like, like a, like a, I don't even want to say it, but I'll say it, like a shit fuck, or a, or you, you say something about my dad who I don't know, but I still defend him because he's family. You make fun of my favorite juice, which is Jamba. You make fun of my favorite uh, movie, okay, which is Dances with Wolves, Kevin Costner. I just wanted to be one of those wolves with Kevin just so I could say I danced with him, right? Because all those wolves, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous of those wolves, Bruce. They got to slow dance with Kevin Costner. I haven't seen the movie, but I'm assuming that's what it's about. My nephews are real scared to go to school right now, obviously. He's seven years old. He goes, he goes, Uncle Bruce, I'm scared. You know, you know, there's, you got, it's crazy now. I was like, yeah, it's okay, though. You know, he's like, yeah, but what if somebody comes in, you know, try with a gun and shit? And I was like, well, what, you, what are you going to do about it? And he goes, I'll probably go like, oh, oh. And I was like, yeah, he's probably going to shoot right through that, buddy. You're going to need a better defense strategy if you want to protect your pals. They want us to arm the teachers. Get the fuck out of here. Arm the teacher. Fuck that noise. My, can you think of any teacher from your past that you were like, yeah, put a fucking gun in Mrs. Batelli's hands. Put a fucking AR-15 in Mrs. McQuay's crotchety old ferret paws. She couldn't even defend the kid with a list. We read out loud and got teased. A Florida man was arrested, this is good, after stealing a crossbow by stuffing it down his pants. Hashtag Florida. Hashtag Florida. What else can you say, Bruce? Not much. I think that sums it all up. I mean, first of all, the fact that you want a crossbow and you're not Joe Rogan, and then you want to steal a crossbow. Joe Rogan can afford a crossbow. If Joe Rogan's friend wants a crossbow, he's buying him a crossbow. He's gifting him a crossbow. If you can't afford a crossbow, then you don't deserve to have a crossbow. Does that make sense? I think if you want a crossbow and you're not Joe Rogan or Robin Hood, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? But, you know, that's COVID for you. What about my hair? Do you have a genuine question about my hair? <laughs> Thank you. Are we supposed to fuck now, or what happens? <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't been outside in a while. I had COVID. <laughs> Guys, please say hi to my friend Rick Glassman. I just him met him... Uh, Knock, knock it off. Let him do his act. No, no, it's okay. You know, I, it's, you know, I'm doing James Corden next week. But it's fine. Rick, um, no, okay, no, sit, no, sit back down, sit back down, sit back down. No, Rick, Rick, no, this is, this is, this is normal. This is actually, you guys are on a hidden camera show right now. <laughs> we have a camera over there. Over there. And we're filming this. Yeah. So you all just got fucking. You fuck, same fuck. At the same time. You got. You guys. You guys got, got fucked. <laughs> it's a new hidden camera show produced by Ashton Kutcher. That's my mom right there. My mom is a Mexican gangbanger. Remember HBO's Real Sex? These late night food infomercials have taken over for HBO's Real Sex. Now it's all you know. It used to be, you know, a guy on the street, you know, be like, you know. Hey, what's your favorite position? And he'd be like, man, I love doggy style, man. I love fucking from behind like a dog. And now, and now is that your favorite position, Bruce? Uh, yeah, I, I like to do, the, do it like a dog. Do, doing it like a dog. And so now you replace that with infomercials where he's like, how much, you know, wood could a woodchuck dog if woodchuck could make meatloaf? And then she comes in and goes, I don't know, eight years, boom, bada, boom. They cut to some old people being like, 
I didn't think I could ever make my own meatloaf. And I just did with the fucking, the oval bison, you know, the grill. And then they cut back to the guy and he's like, that's why you got to get yourself a grill. Otherwise, you'll be like that old guy who's just who's about to die without knowing he could cook for himself. Russ, 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 Russ. I'm not going to break dance. But what I'm going to do is tell you that, Russ, not only would I like to pick up your tab, I'd like to, I'd like to pick up where we left off. <laughs> which was 20 minutes ago when I met you. And you came into my life like a Pixar movie. And I fast forwarded to the end like I do on most movies. Yeah, I get it. The old guy lost his wife and he bought a fucking house and the bloom took it in the sky. The end. A little bit about me before we get into the news story, because I think today's show is going to be all about news. What's happening, what didn't happen, what could happen, and what's happening. I'm interested in what's happening now, not just with you, but with myself. So, again, like I said, I came out here to L.A. to, you know, be a real estate agent because the market out here is is fucking bonanza bonkers. It's just fucking bubblegum and yo-yo tricks, and everyone's all like, oh, you can get a two-bedroom for $15 million. I'm like, suck my dick and my twat. But, you know, you just have to be on the lookout and find the right space for you. Uh, do you want a backyard? Check. Do you want a pool? Check. Do you want one of those uh, bubble boy uh, cages that you can put a person in if you're into that stuff? If you're, if you're into putting people in bubble cages? Check. <laughs> 